You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. And Dan, how are you today? Doing pretty darn well, Heidi. How are you? I am fantastic. Right, Thank you for asking. Here we go. People far more important than we will ever be mm. who were born on this day. Clyde Barrow. Bonnie and Clyde fan. Ah. You know, he was mowed down at the tender age of 25. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. That's, they, didn't, they didn't live too long. Yeah. So if, he, if he were alive today, he'd still be under his, his parents' health care plan. <laughs> <laughs> Probably have a free cell phone. <laughs> Probably. Jeez. <laughs> Harry Houdini, born this day. It's kind of a freak accident. Took him out of commission. But, yeah, if you've, if you've ever seen Harry Houdini's story, it's... Uh, Kind of freakish, the things he could do. Oh yeah. yeah. Pretty flippin' amazing. Yeah. yeah, he was quite the quite the magician. And I always liked this guy, had the pleasure of seeing him when he was an up and comer playing the Twin Cities at Circuits comedian Louis Anderson. Yeah. Would have been sixty nine, he passed away uh, January of, of this year. So I spoke really with sad. him last year and something most people don't realize, I tried to get him to join us for Snow Jam Comedy Festival. Sure. And he said, you know, I'm not quite ready to get out yet. Uh, he's got a sister who lives in Mitchell. So he goes, but I'd love to come there. So let's do 2023. So we were hoping to have him here. We didn't and now we don't it. get to. But That's unfortunate. Super nice guy. So there you go. 1958. Elvis Presley switches his lifestyle up just a little bit. <laughs> Joins the United States Army. What a stud. Yeah. I love that. Because he could have go. skated that whole thing and just skipped out on it all together, and he didn't. Yeah, he served his time. He it's did his awesome. thing. No special treatment, no yep. nothing else. So, you know, he adjusts he adjust never now. 1987. I only uh, bring this up because I really had a hard time finding anything. The very first ever Soul Train Music Awards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the winners, Janet Jackson and Luther Vandross. Nice. Huh. All right, but it was 1832, and I love this story. Oh, you're something different. I was like, no way, that was in 1832. No, that was in 1987, John. 1987. I'm not going in any sequence here at all. Just follow the bouncing ball, dude. (laughs) I'm I'm listening now. 1832, and I love this story because we just we used to do things differently in America. We just did. We did. We just took care of business, man. Okay, so this day in 32, founder of the Latter Day Saint movement. Mormon, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Joseph Smith, yep. who Heidi happens to be an expert on, <laughs> brings his message to a town in Ohio. <laughs> the town folk are all like, hey, <laughs> that's crazy talk. So they lay a beating on him, tar and feather him, and run him out of town. Is that seriously what happened? <laughs> it's seriously what happened. So b- that that's before- But then later they believed him and- that's before his religion took off. Not everybody saying. believed him. <laughs> uh, apparently not. Not everybody. Huh. Well, that's, I'm sad to hear that he got tarred and feathered. <laughs> and, and me and Heidi are over here laughing about it. And I, the I don't know why. Smackdown doesn't sound that great either, really. <laughs> well, again, but I can just see the town folk going, hey. huh. <laughs> what are we going to do with this? What this sure. darn fool talking about? Hey. Somebody grab me some tar. That's Somebody it. Else. Well, some feathers. That's it. Knock them around a little bit, and I'll go get the stuff. <laughs> Yeah, Dan, Dan truly wanted to do a program called Heidi Explains Religions of the World. And I said, no way are we ever doing that. No, we did a prototype run through and she, and she actually picked. That was the one she picked. Yeah, she picked Joseph Smith. And by the time I picked myself up off the floor. Yeah. It was entertaining, yes. Accurate, not even close. No. Yeah, no. sure. It Offensive, sure wasn't. probably. Yeah, things that don't make the air yeah. are sometimes far more entertaining than the things that do. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. there you go. I know, you know, we all know, and uh, we just bust a move here. Going to do that. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. The Vegas Travel Center is offering three days and two nights accommodations to Vegas. They'll completely waive the package price, plus you get tickets to your choice of activities as well as meals. Jump on this now. Obviously, a deal like this isn't going to last. When they're gone, they're gone. So don't miss out. Just call 605-210-5220, and they'll get you set up for a great getaway. Call now for this special radio offer, 605-210-5220. That's 605-210-5220. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. We're going to brighten your day right now with something fun. I've got Brad Wenzel joining 
joining me. He's a stand-up comedian. He's been on the Conan O'Brien program, on the Bob and Tom show, Sirius XM, all over the place. And he's going to be in Sioux Falls this Sunday. Brad, how are you, sir? I'm good. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having me. Well, we're excited to have you here. Now, have you been to Sioux Falls for comedy in the past? No, this will be my first time. I've, I, I'm going to be in Fargo, North Dakota, and I, I couldn't leave out South Dakota. I, I wanted both the full Dakota experience. Nice. Well, it's kind of a neat thing. You're going to be at a place called Spellbound Magic Shop, and I've been there before, and I've actually seen comedy there before. It's a small theater. And there's not a ton of tickets, so if you want tickets, you're going to want to get them as quickly as you can. Uh, but it's it's a really cool space for an event like this. Now, you've had a chance to perform all over the place. Where are you originally from, Brad? Uh, I'm from Michigan originally. And where do you live nowadays? I live in Los Angeles now. And and you've been doing quite a bit with comedy. When did you go kind of like full-time with comedy? Uh, full-time, probably, uh, I want to say about four, four years ago, four, yeah, about four years ago was probably when I when I truly went full time. I've been doing comedy about uh, eleven years. Uh, before was probably when I did no day job. And and who would you say are some of the comics that were the people you looked up to when you were growing up? Well, I, I'm like a, a kind of a one linery comic. I tell a lot of short jokes, so I loved all the short joke uh, kind of comics like Stephen Wright and. Mitch Hedberg and uh, Zach Galifianakis and guys like that. And I also like like Steve Martin, uh, Bob Newhart. Uh, I like Mike Birbiglia. There's, I could name a, a ton of comics because I was a real comedy nerd when I was a kid. But you know what? That, I think, helps when, when it's time for you to be the comic. If you've been watching that your whole life, that kind of gives you a really good platform. And uh, you said a lot of your stuff is kind of like witty little one-liners, right? Right, right. Just quick, quick stuff, yeah. And I think that makes the show go so fast when you're up there and it's just boom, 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 one joke after another. Is it hard to write like that? Uh, it, it's, I wouldn't say it's harder. I, th- I just say it takes more time, you know, because your jokes are short. So to, like, write a new hour takes you a little longer because the joke only eats up 30 seconds, you know. But it's uh, that's just the style I've always liked and kind of found success with, so... Uh, that's how I like to do it. And, uh, but yeah, it's funny you say boom, 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 because that's how people describe it after the show a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's, people use that exact phrase all the time. They're like, man, you were like boom, boom, boom. And I was like, yeah, that's, kind of, that's, a, that's a good way to sum it up. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I'm excited to see you on Sunday. And if folks would like to come out and join you again, it's this Sunday, uh, March 27th. And the show is at a place called Spellbound Magic Shop. And that's on West 41st Street in Sioux Falls. I'm going to put a link to get tickets, a link with showtimes, a link with all the information, uh, and you can find that. Uh, I'll just put a link to it. Uh, I know it's at SiouxFallsComedy.com, but I'm going to throw it also at Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio and Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News to make it really easy to find. Brad, thank you for your time. I appreciate it, sir. Oh, yeah. Thanks for talking to me. Everybody come out. It's going to be like boom, 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 you know? So come on out. <laughs> I'm excited for it. It's going to be fun. It's this Sunday. Again, stand-up comedy at Spellbound Magic Shop. You can find a link for tickets and everything at SiouxFallsComedy.com. It's Bernie Carrick, former New York City Police Commissioner. If you own a gun, you need to check out StopBoxUSA.com, the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home and get instant, reliable access to that gun. It's an awesome weapon retention product, especially if you have little kids at home or frequent visitors. Get access to your gun in under a second. StopBox is the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home. Use discount code RADIO to save 10% at StopBoxUSA.com. You need to check out StopBoxUSA.com. And now Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. What do you find interesting today, Dan? And I'm about to share this with a mouthful of junior mints. <laughs> oh, I was wondering what you <laughs> were doing. Breakfast of champions. I, no, honestly, for a second there, I thought you were choking. I didn't know Timing is everything. <laughs> Sorry. I should have warned you somehow. Hey, if I'm not healthful, I can't be real. helpful. <laughs> do you need me to kill some time or anything? No, or no, I'm good. <laughs> All right. All right. This is fascinating stuff. Uh, recent developments here. We're going way, way the heck over to, to China. Let's do that. After opening a uh, bottle of snake wine, man in China surprised to find a living venomous snake inside, which, uh, well, jumped out and bit him. 
So that's not what he was expecting. No. There. Man hurried to the hospital treatment and survived. The man had purchased three bottles of medicinal wine with snakes soaking in them. Ew. As a remedy for his off and on, uh, you know, older son. He waited a year after purchasing these particular bottles to open them. Unexpectedly. And it was still alive. One of the snakes reportedly came back to life. <laughs> after a year? Well, here's the deal. When snakes encounter when snakes encounter harsh environments, they often enter a dormant state and can survive for several years. Oh. Now, additionally, these containers, you know, put them in wine bottles, jars, whatever the case may be, cannot be completely airtight sealed. Oh. So a small amount of air will get in. She cracked it open. And- so it was able to just survive. That's yeah, crazy. And, and this is a thing. And another woman was pouring a bottle of snake wine into uh, another wine, and snake bounced out and bit her, too. So what do snakes eat? Well, they're supposed to be dead when they're in this wine, hmm. and it's and it's billed as medicinal wine. This has been going on for centuries. That's insane. China. Okay, snakes are often used in medicinal wine because they are believed to possess medicinal qualities. Snake wine is often advertised to cure a large variety of medical issues, such as <laughs> from vision issues to hair loss to erectile dysfunction. Holy really? cow. <laughs> well, what would you pay for this blue snake? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. You come across like, you know, stuff like this, but then you know people say all the time, you know, people are the same everywhere. No, we're not. No, no, we're no not. I, and I you would not buy snake wine. Dan's trying to kill me over there. <laughs> oh, wow. So yeah, snake wine. It's a thing. If you want some, you just punch it up, man. Apparently it is. Huh. Yeah. All righty. All right, I, just, I found that really interesting. I found it kind of humorous, uh, but very interesting as well. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad I could share, and thanks for letting me do so. Appreciate that. All right, right. it is uh, stuff Dan finds inter- interesting. It's all part of the John and Heidi Show Bonus <laughs> Hour with Dan Ferris. At BetterCreditCards.com, our mission is to help you get a better credit card. Why pay more interest than you need to? We have cards with amazing points and perks. If you're not a point person and just want the lowest interest rate, you can find those too at BetterCreditCards.com. You can also find credit cards designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, March 24th, 2022. Equities pulled back Wednesday as geopolitical tension and rising oil prices sapped sentiment. The price of WTI rose more than 5% intraday to well over $115 and is well on its way to retesting the recent high near $130. Based on the geopolitical outlook and skew in the energy market, we're expecting to see the price of WTI move well above 130 before it peaks out for good. In business news, headwinds are emerging for businesses that may cut into the outlook for 2022. With supply chain easing and economic acceleration expected in the second half, this is not good news at all. The consensus estimates for S&P 500 earnings growth was already on the verge of decline. If these headwinds grow, they could completely alter the outlook for the year and bring the S&P 500 crashing down. You can get the inside track in your inbox at marketbeatminute.com.